Hi, welcome to Graphic Insights. I'm Mike Goodwin. When pricing graphics and stickers, do you know what your profit is on each job that you sell? If you don't, you really should. I've seen a lot of companies price their products based on what they saw others charge online. I've also heard of some companies basing their sell price on what a competitor is selling a similar product for. While these pricing methods may get you by, you shouldn't count on them for many reasons, but one in particular, and that's overhead. Every person that creates and sells stickers and graphics has a different production cost, ultimately leading to different overhead. It's usually not sustainable to price out jobs without first knowing what your overhead is. Knowing exactly how much your job costs each time you hit print allows you to consistently price each job, identify whether you're charging enough and ensure you're making money on all of your products. It allows you to develop pricing strategies to promote products, discount other products if needed without taking a loss, and raising your price on popular products to increase profits. In order to help with pricing, I've created a spreadsheet you can use as a tool to help you figure out your overhead and price things consistently. This shouldn't be used as the only tool you use to calculate job cost, but feel free to use it as a starting point. If you're finding value in this video, please hit the subscribe button along with that notification bell so that you know when we upload more helpful videos. Let's get into the spreadsheet. Over here on the left hand side, <clears throat> we have the fixed monthly costs. Uh, costs include your shop, your utilities, vehicle, maybe any equipment leases, software subscriptions like Adobe, Creative Suite, um, Flexi, Microsoft Office, payroll, insurances, website, etc. Uh, I also have some blank spaces down here. Um, so the way this works, you can literally just type in, you know, what you pay for rent, what you pay for utilities, and these are all based on monthly overhead costs. So all this is based on a month. Um, whether you lease your vehicle, you own it outright, uh, and you make a payment, anything, any business costs, payroll, whether you pay employees or just pay yourself, any insurances maybe that you pay per month, uh, liability. And then if you had one that you wanted to add, um, you know, let's say uh, security, you know, um, maybe you pay for an alarm system or something, you pay $50 a month. So there's, uh, there's three or four slots here that you can add more to it. And at the bottom down here, the daily cost, so it's broken down, basically it takes all of these numbers, adds them up, and then divides them by 22. So I'm using a 22 day average per month. And that's where this daily cost comes from. Um, so that's 22 days divided into this total of 26.55. And then I use an hourly cost based on six and a half hours per day. I figure between breaks and lunches, um, you know, you, you can change this, but Right now, this number is based on six and a half hours per day. So 22 days per month, six and a half hours per day. It's based kind of Monday through Friday, no Saturdays or Sundays or overtime. And so this breaks it down to your daily cost, your hourly cost, and then your per minute cost. The per minute cost is really there to help figure out some of the printing uh, costs associated with the overhead. Um, on the right-hand side, we have material costs. So we have vinyl and laminate which is pretty typical on every job. Uh, each of these fields has a pull down with the most popular sizes in it. So select your size media, select the, uh, the length of it, the lengths in feet. So make sure that if it's a 50 yard roll, you're still selecting 150 foot. Uh, I did put some additional um, roll lengths in here uh, 164. I know some banner comes that way and, and some of the, uh, Oracle products come 164 feet. So, um, 82 would be a half roll of that. So try to keep it the more popular sizes. Um, and then this will automatically total your square foot out for you based on the roll sizes that you put here, put your roll price, um, whatever you paid for it. And then it automatically figures out the square foot price. Same thing with the laminate, different sizes in here. Pick a 54 by 150, it changes to 675. So let's say you're, you know, you're working with a calendar film. Uh, we'll leave it at the three, you know, 350 and 285. Basically, all of these gray cells 
um, require input by you, right? And so this input will change, ultimately change your cost down here. Your per ink, uh, your ink per square foot price, whether it's 25 cents, maybe you're running latex and it's around 15 cents, or you're using a third party ink, uh, it's around 18 cents. You can change this to anything you want. Put 0.15 in there. And then this is really dependent on your print speed, right? Um, every printer has a different print speed and different modes that you run the printer in. So I didn't want it to be um, dependent on just one square foot per hour, right? So I also made a pull down here. We got some BN20 numbers and then some SGMVG numbers and then some Epson Amaki numbers up here. Um, so you can really, you can put uh, any number in there you want, you, you, you can, uh, you can either select from the pull down here, or you can put any number in based on the print mode that you're printing and the passes that you're printing. Uh, as far as project specs, uh, although this is 12 by 12, this, these are in inches, so 12 inches by 12 inches and the quantity one, it's a little over one square feet, square foot. I did put in a 15% overage here, um, just to cover waste. Uh, typically, when even if you print on 54-inch material, you'll print 48, 49 inches. Uh, you can't always print to the outside, and that way should be accounted for as overhead. It's it's still a cost. You paid for the whole roll. You may not be able to print on the whole roll, but you paid for the whole roll. So typically, that's a, at a 15% uh, overage. So down here, it uh, totals up your material cost. So it gets this material cost by taking your square foot um cost for what you paid for the roll and the size of it, your ink cost, um, your overhead cost um, comes from, um, it takes your, your daily price uh, over here. This is 11 cent based on, it takes your daily price of your overhead per minute, right? And then print speed, how quickly you're printing. And then this is where the overhead comes in. Uh, your overhead cost comes in. Uh, tells you how long it'll take to print based on your print speed up here and then the total job cost and then this markup and profit so you have a job cost of a dollar 53 for this for one 12 by 12 decal um, so you have a cost of a dollar 53 at a 20 percent markup it would be a dollar 84 you would profit 31 cents and it goes up from there so 30 40 50 so at 60 percent you would have a, a they would charge $2.45 and you would profit $0.92. Um, so just because this is on stickers, you can really, you know, if you had a, a four by six sticker and you were printing 50 of them, um, it changes, you know, your total square foot is 9.58. Your print time is going to be uh, two minutes and 52 seconds based on 200 square feet an hour. Your total job cost is going to cost $12.78. And then feel free to use any one of these markups, which goes 20% all the way up to 300%. And then in the green bars down here, it tells you your profit. You can also use this. It doesn't just work for stickers. If you had a sign, right? So you had 96 uh, by 48. You see a four foot by eight foot sign. Um, not 50 of them, but if you had one, you would do 36, uh, 80. So that's the... 4 by 8 to 32 plus is 15% overage for waste. Again, front, back, sides. Uh, your material cost, your overhead cost, it's pulling your overhead from over here based on your print time. And then total job cost. And then this would be your markup. Uh, so at 20%, it would be 58.89 with a profit of $9.82 at a 300% margin. It would be $150 with $150 profit. So... Um, let me know in the comments below on the video. Uh, I was kicking around uh, adding labor costs in here for both print and installation time. So let me know if, if you find that would be helpful. Again, this is a, a quick down and dirty tool that you can you know, put your own numbers in and uh, your own size rolls and your own price for rolls. Pretty much anything in gray is, uh, is customer changeable uh, where you can enter your own information and then at least this is a good starting point to give you consistent pricing if you found this video helpful please hit that like button make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification 
so that you can get notified when we upload more videos. Thanks for watching.